right guys what is up welcome back and welcome to the youtube channel so as you can tell by what i got in my hand this is an e3 diamond plug uh it's what we're going to be putting in the black truck today uh, i've changed the plugs in this truck uh twice since i've had it so uh it has it either has sp sp15 or sp46 i'm not sure uh, to be honest with you what plug it has in it at the moment but it is the updated plug so we shouldn't have any problems getting them out and we did put some anti on the threads when we put them back in the second time uh but we're gonna go ahead and swap out to the e3s this is a little bit uh better plug of course these plugs are pre-gap pre -gap, so i don't know if anybody has uh, really looked at the sp15s or sp46s which is uh, those numbers are actually the motorcraft numbers for the uh, motorcraft plugs uh, but basically there's not really a way to gap them so i don't really know why people say check your gap uh, but i mean these these uh, E3s come pre grab just like the SP46s and SP15s. But we're gonna go ahead and walk y'all through the process. It's not very hard. So we're gonna jump in here. This is your cool over plug right here, the cool pack. So it's a seven millimeter bolt. You're gonna pop that out, pull your cool pack off. And then after that, I think it's a nine sixteenths. Uh, you're gonna drop it on a spark plug. You're gonna take it out. And some people, uh, if you haven't changed your plugs before, this is definitely not a job to take on if you're not a, uh, at least, uh, uh, advanced mechanic in a way uh, simply for the fact that the factory plugs if you've never changed your plugs or never had your plugs changed the factory plugs the this right here will break off so this um this long metal end right here will break off as, as well with the electrode and you'll have to use the uh lyle removal tool which that basically is threads into this metal piece and pulls it out of the motor but if you've never done it before uh i mean basically we're just gonna go ahead and jump to it this is how a regular plug will look so this is the factory plugs and so basically this end piece right here as you can see it's got some corrosion uh, it'll also have some carbon buildup on it too most likely um, and that's what's going to cause it to break off as you can see it's a two-piece so you see how this uh, middle section right here this midsection is not one solid piece compared to the e3 so the e3 is one solid piece right there that's a dope it's not so that's going to break off and this piece right here it's going to be what you have left in the motor but like i said if you haven't ever done it before uh, i wouldn't recommend trying it by yourself if you're not uh, mechanically inclined but i think we're going to go ahead and jump into it swap out the e3s i'm going to get some uh, b-roll put up and uh hope you all enjoy we'll show you what the difference is As you saw there from uh, some of the time lapse, we got uh, cool packs pulled. It's important, um, which I have the Excel cool packs. I'll link that video up above if anybody wants to see a difference on those. But uh, it's important to know, and as you can see, my hand is pretty black. That's from this tube right here. It's important to know when doing these uh, to pull all your cool packs out and pay attention to where they go. Uh, so don't just throw them in a box. If you don't remember, just try and keep them in order. So this, uh, this one is going to go to this cylinder, and you'll all the way back. I keep them in order like that because sometimes you can have some issues if you're swapping cool packs back and forth. Uh, don't ask me why. It's just everybody, it's what everybody recommends. So I try and do things, um, make it as easy as possible. But it's a good practice on that. Uh, if you may saw in the B-roll, Dustin had a vacuum. He was actually grabbing a vacuum in a tube and we were cleaning up. Let's see if I can get in here and show you guys. You can see how much buildup there actually is on top of the spark plugs right there. As you can see right there, I mean, there's your tip of the plug, and you can see how much buildup is down in there. So basically, uh, we're trying to keep that from getting on top of the top of the cylinder head. I mean, that's not good stuff to, to be in there. So we're going to clean all that up before we pull the spark plugs and try and get it as clean as possible and keep it clean. And then we're going to jump into pulling the spark plugs. So I'm going to jump back to it. As you can see, after you change your plugs, it's not an issue to get them out. I mean, um, Dustin broke it loose pretty easy, and he's, he's going to go ahead and just pull it out now, just like a regular uh, plug change. Uh, so there's not really a lot of issues after you change them. It's just the big part is changing them for the first time or if somebody hasn't put the updated plugs in. So it's definitely uh, not something for the novice, but we'll see how they look. Let's see there. there we go. Looks like they got a little bit of corrosion on them. Uh, they don't look the best, but I mean, that's why we're changing them, guys. 
Uh, they are the E3s, actually. But they're E3s as well. But like we can see there, guys, there is a little bit of wear on it. And as you can see, there's some buildup right there. But no big deal. We're going to get them swapped out, get some new plugs in it. And uh, I'm going to throw you all back on time lapse. So hope you all enjoy. guys so like a normal 5.4 nothing goes to plan so basically what's happening if you see me uh, messing with this uh, second cylinder uh, from the front right here uh, there's so much buildup uh, in the cylinder or I guess in the uh, in top of the head pretty much uh, where the, uh, where the uh, spark plug sits there's so much buildup that I actually can't get the socket on the nut uh, for the spark plug so I'm gonna have to scrape around a little bit and blow it out and see if I can get it to where I can actually drop the socket on and get it out uh, the other two seem to be fine. Uh, Dustin, at least it hit the ground. Uh, good stuff for him, I guess. Uh, is that a breaker bar? <laughs> Can we talk about that? Uh, but uh, anyway, guys, like I said, this is definitely not a job to take on if you're uh, not at least somewhat mechanically skilled. It is a very simple job on most vehicles. This is just one vehicle that does seem to be. Um, he's putting a lot of torque on that breaker bar, and that's kind of worrying me. But, uh, you know, I guess it's not his truck, so he's not worried about it. But... We're going to go ahead and get that knocked out. Uh, I'll catch you guys in just a second. I'll let y'all know what we'll do for a solution, uh, just in case you have the same issues on yours, and uh, we'll jump back to it. All right, guys. So we have a wild development in the uh, spark plug uh, changing uh, video here. So this is a plug that we pulled out of the back cylinder, the one that uh, Dustin actually had the breaker bar on, or a uh, small breaker bar. Uh, we'll put it like that. But as you can see, guys, look at that. It is actually broke the electrode. So how this uh, normal normally looks and these are hot so we're doing this on hot motor it helps with the carbon build up it's not as uh, bad it reduces the risk of breaking plugs uh, we are doing everything by hand but some people will use an impact i think the very first time we did it on this truck we used an impact i uh, got it hot used an impact zipped them out um, it's not the most recommended way but it works so we're not going to talk about it but guys get let's get back to this look at the electrode i mean it looks like it's been broke for a minute like it's not it doesn't look like it's uh, been broke taken out i mean it's it's got some buildup on it. So, I mean, it's, it definitely looks like it's been like this for a little bit. So it makes me wonder, like, you know, has the truck been running on seven cylinders the whole time? But the truck's run great. Um, so far, the only really reason that I'm changing the plugs is just because it's, you know, routine maintenance. And I'm getting ready to go on a trip to the beach. So uh, I was like, well, we'll slap some new plugs in. But I'm glad we did. Uh, I mean, but look at that, guys. That's crazy. I've never seen anything like that. Uh, it's almost similar to how the plugs break off. But this Electra, I mean, I don't even know how the cylinder was still firing. So... I guess we'll have to get a look at that. Dustin's going to try and get a mirror and look down in the uh, top of the piston, see how that looks. But, I mean, I'm glad we're changing them, though, guys. This is, uh, this is why you do your routine maintenance. I mean, that could that could have broke off and we could have had a really big issue. But we're going to go ahead and jump into it, get the rest of them changed, and uh, we'll catch you in just right, a second. guys, Dustin's come up with a pretty ingenious solution in my mind. So he's taking a tube right here, and he's putting it around the end of this. And so you don't drop them. So basically people, they'll take and they'll just set them up at the top, and they'll drop them and let them drop down on top of the threads. And that can mess up your gap. Um, since these are, I mean, free gap plugs, um, you know, any messing, uh, bending of the electrodes or anything like that will definitely mess them up. But as you can see, he's just going to drop it down in there and he's going to twist that tube and it allows him to thread it in and get started. But that's just a, a quick little tip uh, for you guys as well. We're trying to make this uh, as informational as possible because uh, this is a very, very requested video and very requested job to do on these F 150s. You just pull it off. Yeah, and you just pull it off. But as you can see, we got a nice little shop light set up here. <laughs> We've got it chained around the top of the grill here, and it actually does really good. So that's another thing for you guys, uh, you know, that are doing mechanic work on a budget. That's the best uh, best light I've found uh, for really lighting up the entire engine bay and being able to see what's going on. But we're just going to do another one real quick. Drop it in there, get it started, and be good to go. And we are going back with the E3s uh, for reference. I think they're seventeen dollars a piece. Uh, so they're kind of a, they're technically supposed to be the highest uh, plug or the best plug, you know, air quote, whatever. Uh, a lot of people do run the uh, Motocraft SP46s. They're the Platinums. And the SP15s also are just the updated Motocraft plug for these trucks as well. But as you can see, this is, the, this is what the plugs look like after 50,000 miles. They don't look that great. Uh, but, I mean, that's to be expected with 50,000 miles. And we did have that one problem plug. But we're going to put them back in and see how it goes. So... 
All right, guys, so we got everything changed. We're gonna do something real quick. I'm just gonna run through uh, what you can unhook uh, over here to make things a little bit easier. So basically, you can unhook this. Um, you can pull this breather line out, basically. Is you just pull the tab on the inside, you pull it around, picks up. You can also pull it off the bottom the same way. Uh, I didn't. I also unhook my injectors. Uh, so you just, it's just a little push tab, push, pull out. And of course you unhook all your cool packs when you get ready to take them out. Uh, you can also, uh, this is uh, what goes into the air box or the side of the throttle body up here. Uh, so you can, or you can actually unhook that as well. But that's just to uh, kind of free up some space because it does get kind of tight in here. But we got everything changed, cool packs all. Got to take it for a drive and we'll uh, let you know how it goes. We're going to jump to that. All right, guys. So we got her all wired out. As you can hear, she's purring like a kitten. Dustin's going to give you this quick sound test on her. So as you can hear, no misfire, no cutting out. Uh, everything's doing great. Uh, one thing we want to make sure you know is when you're putting your plugs in, just run just a touch of anti-seize around the threads. Don't worry about getting any down the metal piece of the uh, plug or the porcelain. You do that, you'll have some misfires. We just want just enough on the threads just to uh, make it a little bit easier for the next guy if it's not you. But uh, other than that, guys, everything would be great. Uh, if y'all have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Hope y'all enjoyed. Peace.